Hi guys, it's been a while since my last video. Just been taking a bit of a break from the division for a few weeks. I've not even been playing these mini global events that much. Although I did manage to get my sixth striker piece last weekend, so I'll definitely be putting a striker build together at some point soon and giving that a go. One thing I've wanted to do for a while though is a flawless solo run of Falcon Lost on Heroic using my D3 build. A couple of reasons why I wanted to. One, just because I love a challenge. And two, because I still hear a lot of people say that you need 9k stamina for a D3 shield build, even in PvE. So I thought if I can run Heroic Falcon Lost solo with a 6k stamina build and no shield damage resilience mods, it would hopefully prove that it's overall a better build for PvE. So one thing, running 6k stamina that allows you to have around 6.5k firearms. So that means you can unlock talents like Responsive, which is great for D3, and by running all shield damage mods on the gear gives you a 26% total damage boost while your shield is active. So that turns D3 into a really effective DPS set. And alongside the damage to elites we're going to be running on the gear mods, you'll see in the footage just how quickly this build can shred through these elite NPCs. And remember as well that enemies don't scale to group size and incursions, so when you run them solo, the NPCs are just as tough as they would be if you're in a group of four. So given that we're running a much weaker shield than we would be with a 9k stamina build, one of the key aspects to maximising your shield sustainability is to make sure you run with on the move. And that gives you 15% all damage resilience when you kill an enemy while moving. So getting used to strafing while killing allows you to keep that 15% ADR up almost the whole time. And you'll see me doing this a lot in the footage, going from side to side um, pretty much constantly as I'm firing and, and finishing off the enemies. And the important thing to note is that ADR applies not only to yourself but also to your shield. So the more ADR you can stack, the, the, the tankier your shield is going to be and you'll be able to take a lot more damage. Running combat medic as well, we can always ensure we can heal our shield by 40% by using a med kit if we find ourselves in a bit of a tricky spot, taking a lot of shield damage and we need to heal up. I'm not going to go into all the details of the build. It's exactly the same as the one I used in my classified D3 build video a little while ago, uh, which I've linked to in the description. But there is a build summary image at the end of the video that you can pause on to get all the attributes if you want. So on to Falcon Loss, so being successful in the mission, especially solo, more often than not is determined by how lucky you get on Wave 8. Wave 8 is the second bomb planting wave, and the tricky part is that the NPC that carries the bomb is always a sniper, so they almost always hang back by the APC, making them really difficult to kill, and even harder to actually grab the bomb, because you're going to be taking constant fire from the turrets when you go and try and retrieve it. So it's very rare that they actually come close to you and allow you to get the bomb off them easily. The bomb planting waves are also timed, so if you take too long to plant the bomb, then a whole load of NPCs are going to spawn again, and that's going to just make the whole wave much more difficult and take a lot longer. So unfortunately this happened to me in the run, um, it was hard to get the, the sniper, so I did get another, another batch of NPCs spawn, and that would have added at least 5 minutes onto the time. But I think with this particular build and a bit of luck along the way, I reckon you can do this in about 40 minutes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even find some useful tips in there if you're struggling with anything in particular in the mission. But thanks so much for watching as always guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.
set to deploy, sir. Launch him. I don't like how long this is taking. than guns to take that APC out. See if there are any explosives in the area. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. We need those explosives placed, Agent. Turrets are offline! I am not letting those bastards win this time!
incoming hostiles detected. Captain, we're in position. About damn time! Go, go, go!
Roger that. Just better do the job. Incoming hostiles detected. Warning. Explosive device detected. Good shot. 
You need to place those explosives. Morning. Incoming hostiles detected. those explosives. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Agent, you need to place those explosives. We need those explosives placed, Agent. detected.
Incoming hostiles detected. Detected. Alert. Explosive device detected.
Agent, you need to place those explosives. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Fuck! What was that? Turrets are down, goddammit! Incoming hostiles detected.
hostiles detected.
of device detected. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Agent, you need to get those explosives placed. Shit, they took out the turret! Then just run the bastard over! vehicle destroyed. Good job out there. We lost some really good people, but if that APC hadn't been stopped, the situation would have been much worse. We managed to stop any airstrikes on the city. For now, if the LMB regroups, we risk losing everything we've worked so hard to gain. Stability won't come easily. We can't rest just yet. None of us can. 
Bow out.